All right, you guys. So I wanted to do another blueberry update, another blueberry video. We've been eating handfuls and handfuls of these blueberries every day. The birds have been getting some. They've been getting underneath these nets, unfortunately. It is what it is. We talked about in our recent video that we did not too long ago. One of my favorite blueberries here for flavor is actually this Chippewa. And a lot of people recommending to me pink lemonade, which is a pink blueberry. I'm sure it's very tasty. I totally forgot about that blueberry, so thank you for the five or six people who mentioned it to me. I have been though also relatively impressed in that video about the size of Chandler. It really is an extremely large blueberry. It's huge. And uh, I really do think that if larger fruits are your thing, this blueberry just makes a ton of sense and it's consistent. You know, it's not like, oh, there's one big berry here and there. This is enough to feed, to feed me and get me very full very quickly because like I said, these fruits are just massive. Actually, holy crap, there's some up here that are even bigger. This may be the biggest one I've ever seen. Holy crap. Yeah. <laughs> this one here is bigger than a quarter, that's for sure. So, <laughs> let me show you these fruits in compared to some other, compared to some other varieties. But that's just huge. Let me put this down here. Get you guys a different, uh, different variety to compare to this. Um, so it is, it's just, it is just a massive blueberry. And as I said, if that's your thing, that's what you want. This is definitely the variety for you. And I even, said that one of these massive blueberries is like the size of four normal sized blueberries. I think that's not even an exaggeration. I think that's pretty accurate, especially with these larger ones. This is a normal sized blueberry you get at the store. This is Chandler. That's ridiculous. So, um, for me, I'm thinking, wow, you know, uh, that really has its place. Typically though, I don't like the flavor on it nearly as much as Chippewa, but believe it or not, the plant right next door to Chippewa is I believe a variety called Darrow. And while both of these plants here are pretty much done for the year, I do have some berries left. Let me see the tag here. Yeah. Oh, this is Draper. It's not Darrow, it's Draper. And this to me is the best tasting blueberry I have. Um, better than the Chippewa. I've tried them all again this year. And I am quite convinced at this point that this particular blueberry, it's got pretty good size to it. If, again, if that's your thing, but also it just has a flavor unlike any other blueberry. And it's not like uh, that wild blueberry flavor that we talked about with Chippewa, how Chippewa has been bred with some Southern high bush, Southern low bush, I'm sorry, genetics. This drapper here, I don't know what it was bred with, but let me taste it. Oh yeah. How do I really describe this to you? This is the wine. This is the red. This is the Barbaresco or Barolo of all blueberries, if you ask me. This is the one that's got the most complexity. Good tartness, good berry flavor. And there is a very distinct, um, it's almost like you can taste the antioxidants in this fruit, guys. Like it's so intense. There's a, uh, almost like a, 
a chalkiness to it. It's one of these berries that when you eat it, it really lasts in your mouth. And um, like I said, it's like the wine, the red wine, a good red wine of all the blueberries. Some of these blueberries here, like I've said, I've showed you guys, they're very, very productive. The whole plant just looks like a blueberry. Chandler is huge. But some of them are just very straight sweet or sweet tart balanced, and that's it. I mean, look how many berries that is. Not that this drapper over here doesn't produce a lot. But I promise you, uh, this is the best blueberry I've ever eaten. I think it is the king. And you know what? I haven't had that many varieties of blueberries. So it's not like I'm saying this is like the best ever. I'm sure there's better. But for my money, if anyone eats this, you're going to know right away that that's a really good blueberry. Um, yeah, so that was my little update. I wanted to kind of change my prior thoughts in the video that we did talk about Chandler and how consistently huge it is and uh, maybe this is enough to really encourage you guys to get a drapper if anyone knows what I'm talking about where it has that really chalkiness to it that more complex uh, flavor rather than just the sweet tart balance with a little bit of blueberry flavor kicked in if anyone has something just way beyond that I want to know is that what pink lemonade's like? Uh, there's some other variety recommendations I've had, so I'm sure in the future it'll be worth trialing those to see. But for now, I mean, this is, this is the winner. We'll see you guys soon, all right? Thank you for watching this one again. Um, I just really felt the need to correct myself, so take care and we'll, uh, we'll catch you for the next one.